So overall, Giuliani was a very broad and detailed speech that essentially touched every single policy subject, from foreign relations to the economic uh, uh, front. So there's a lot to digest from his speech this morning. If I start by looking at the pandemic, Von der Leyen essentially talked up the achievements that uh, the EU over that, uh, that happened in the EU over the last 12 months in terms of vaccination, in terms of the digital certificate, and how that essentially boosted European uh, travel this summer. And she also said, though, that the EU is ready for booster shots this winter. And indeed, that the EU also wants to step up even more its support in terms of uh, vaccines to other countries. So let's see what will happen in that front. When it comes to economic policy, though, an important w announcement for our viewers is that the EU will be putting forward the new discussions to revise the fiscal rules uh, well ahead of 2023. So we can expect tough discussions next year in terms of deficit and debt rules. Now, when it comes to the digital policy, though, there was a very important announcement, and perhaps the biggest headline out of her speech, which was indeed that uh, she will be putting forward a European chief. Act. And this is off the back of the crisis that we saw in the wake of the pandemic in this field. So let's take a look at some of her remarks in terms of this big announcement. This is also a matter of tax sovereignty. So let's put all our forces in it to improve this situation. We will present a new European CHIPS Act. We need to link together a world-class research design and testing capacities. We need to coordinate the European level and the national investment along the value chain. And the aim is to jointly create a state-of-the-art European chip ecosystem, including production, that ensures our security of supply and will develop new markets for groundbreaking European tech. There was also quite a lot of focus on climate policy. Of course, the European Commission put forward the Fit for 55 plan that we discussed a couple of weeks ago. Essentially, a very detailed set of, pack, set of measures to achieve uh, carbon neutrality in the future. And during her speech, von der Leyen asked the same from international partners. She asked China, but also the United States, to be very concrete with their plans in terms of how they intend to achieve carbon neutrality and effectively reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the coming years. Let's take a look at it as well. The COP26 in Glasgow will be a moment of truth for the global community. Major economies, from the US to Japan, have set ambitions for climate neutrality in 2050 or shortly after. That's good. But they need now to be backed up by concrete plans in time for Glasgow because current commitments for 2030 will not keep global warming at 1.5 Celsius within reach. Every country has a responsibility. The goals that President Xi has set out for China are encouraging, but we call for that same leadership on setting out how China will get there. The world would be relieved if they showed they could peak emissions by mid-decade and move away from coal at home and abroad. Another important point was in terms of defense policy. So von der Leyen also mentioned that there's a new international order, that what we saw in Afghanistan proves that point. And so the EU is really willing to step up its uh, defense policy. And in this context, von der Leyen announced that there will be a new uh, defense summit organized as well with France. So let's see when that will actually take place and what will come out of it. But there was indeed a strong focus when it comes to defense policy and the EU's role um, in terms of foreign relations.